Nigel, I'm really interested in this real life example of how the HP printer can lend itself to our industry, the, the metal cutting industry. Yep, yep. I think this is one of my most interesting components. Um, this is a genuine part that was part of the HP printer. And the important items were these holes, these pins and these holes on the front and back. But it's quite a heavy component and it goes on the, on the head so um, the, the travis of the printer has to be, carry this weight. So what they did is they came up with exactly the same item machined in nylon with the same holes but now it's latticed and reduces the weight and this is strong enough to do the job. I, I, I emphasise that because it's not as strong as the aluminium part, but it is strong enough to do the job. So, f to reduce weight even further, they've now made this more complicated one, but again, strong enough to do the job, optimised to do the job, and much less weight. Now, you, you mentioned optimised to do the job, and, and this is a, a real-life example of a product that goes in the actual yeah. printer, but if you were a company that were making your own product, not for a printer, wouldn't this be exactly the same principles? And also, would it also save a lot of money and time? Absolutely. To produce the plastic part or the nylon part, um, it reduces weight, it reduces cost, it massively reduces time in manufacture, so yeah it's a it's a plus all around the only concern i would have is you know if you were making this part out of steel or aluminium and now also all of a sudden you're making out of a different material how how would that still work and would it still be suitable for the application how would you test this oh we can have all the components tested um for, for strength by, by various methods uh, the chain link, for instance, we sent to an independent testing company and they told us the breaking strength of each chain link. Same with these, really. Um, yeah, all, lots of metal components could probably be made out of nylon, but it's just a, a game changer in that you've got to think about that. You've got to get your engineers to think about what else could we make this in. Do you want to save time? Do you want to save money? Do you want to um, save cost? then when you come all, get them all together, you probably find that um, you can very regularly and often print in a different material and, and forget making in aluminium which, or steel, um, which from XYZ is a bit of a, 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 thing, a strong thing to say in that we have, we've traditionally have been in the metal removal business and now we've gone into the additive manufacturing business so we're not taking metal away anymore we're putting material on i mean this is going to revolutionize the industry completely and i can see it or do you believe will you see it where cutting uh, machine cutting and adding will work in harmony oh absolutely they will there'll be no way that we'll ever be printing everything and there's a lot you know there's a lot of things that need to be made of uh, metal and need to be machined and need to have metal removal but a lot of things equally could be just built up in a 3D printer. I think one important factor as well, there's a massive skill shortage in the UK, probably globally, and you get young, young people out of college who are very good at um, creating parts and people out of university designing functional parts but getting the guy to machine these complex parts can be a little bit tough and really if they get the solid model with a HP 3D printer they just literally press a button and it's going to be it's going to materialize